All right. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the OCD and Anxiety Show. My name is Matt Cotty, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and the creator of the AAA Response. And so on this episode, I want to talk about the idea of acceptance. And so when we talk about acceptance um, and why this is such an important part of OCD and anxiety recovery, you know, a lot of a lot of confusion comes up for people because, well, one, you know, there's this idea that acceptance is something that we do, right? It's an action we take. And the reality is, is acceptance is, is not an action, but an inaction, right? Acceptance is our willingness to embrace what is. And the, the problem that most of us have and the reason acceptance is so difficult is because we are clinging to either a future that we want or that we wished we would have gotten or a past that we think should be different, right? So, so we are, or, or that we want to hold on to, should I say. And when we cling to something, what happens is, is that we have to protect it, right? We have to try to make it, that we, we try to force life to become how we think it should be. And so the problem with that obviously is that we can't control life, right? And that, and that a lot of things are going to happen in life that may not be exactly how you would prefer them to go at least initially and when you fight with life that's what creates most most people's turmoil and um distress with life is is not is not that life is happens the way it happens but that you're trying to make it how you think it should be going right and our lack of acceptance really comes back down to this one word should right that this shouldn't have happened to me um, I should be here in life. I, this should X, Y, Z, fill in the blank. And the more we operate from this place of should, the less we accept what is and the more conflict we have with life. And the reason that acceptance is so is such an important part of the recovery from OCD and anxiety is because by its very nature, OCD and anxiety is often very, very uncomfortable, Right. It, it, the experience of intrusive thoughts, anxiety, panic, um, you know, even PTSD symptoms, right? They're, they're very uncomfortable and unpleasant. But when you have the, the subconscious belief or even the belief down there that you shouldn't be experiencing this or you should only be happy or you should fill in the blank to whatever that is for you, do you see how you're automatically going to resist that experience. You're automatically going to try to get rid of those intrusive thoughts. You're automatically going to try to get rid of the anxiety or, or make it so you don't experience it. And that leads us to controlling, right? Behaviors. And that's essentially what fighting with life is, is right. When we try to control life, I mean, just think about it. How, how successful are you at that? Cause I'm not, I've never been, I've tried, I've tried many times. Right. And, and this is, what the opposite of acceptance is, right? Is, is us controlling and trying to navigate and, and, and actually force life into this cookie cutter that we think that we know what's best. And what acceptance is, is the very first step to acceptance is to say, is to let go of the clinging, right? A lot of people wanna use acceptance to try to get their result. And that's not what acceptance is about, right? A lot of people are like, well, Matt, how do I, how do I accept these thoughts? How do I accept these feelings so they go away, right? It, it, you know, it's, it, 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 we, we think we're going to try to use acceptance to get the thing that we want still. And that's not what it is. That's not, that's not what acceptance is, right? Acceptance is actually putting your trust and faith in, in something bigger than you. Right. And saying, Hey, I, I accept how this is. Right. I say, well, that might be life. That might be the universe. That might be God. That might be the all that might be source, whatever you choose to call it. Right. But there's something beyond you. Right. And, and that, and that's a force that's greater than you. Right. Even if it's just simply nature to you. Right. You know, if, if that's it, it's like, that's the, the, the thing is, is that once you realize that, then you realize that you can't control things right? And you aren't in control. Control is a complete illusion, in fact. And once you let go of that, you can stop trying to cling to how you want things and how you think things should be because you realize like, hey, well, I'm not, I'm not in control always, 
Now, sure, you're in certain elements, you are right. You know, you can control what the you eat today. In some cases, you can control the clothes you choose to put on, right? So we have these these elements of our life where we get to make choices and exercise free will. But at the end of the day, the the reason that most people struggle with with life, right, is is because they're unwilling to accept it as it comes. And they think it should be a certain way. And so they fight with life and they see life as the struggle. They see life as the bad thing. And it's not. It, it really isn't. I mean, sure, sure, there are moments in life that are going to be hard. There, there are periods of life that are going to be hard. Life is not meant to be all happiness and, and always sunshine and rainbow. That's not what it is. But once we learn to accept life as it comes, we don't have to fight with it. We can work with it. And that's very different. It's a very different experience. And the reason that acceptance is so important in, in recovery is because once you can learn to start working with emotions that you don't particularly find comfortable, once you can learn to start in accepting the fact that your mind's going to generate thoughts you don't necessarily want to experience. And what I mean by that is, is literally like it's, it's going to happen and there's not a lot you can do about that. Then you can start to let go of the idea that it should be a different way. Right, that your mind should always be at peace and you should never have anxiety, you should always feel happy, right? All these things. And, and once we can let go of that clinging that we have to that idea and really start to embrace what is, we can start to work with what is. And, and paradoxically, what happens is, is that actually allows us to work through the experience to usually get to where we wanted to go initially. You know, I, I, it's always this, this weird paradox. The more and more you're willing to accept anxiety, the less and less you're going to experience it. The more and more you're willing to embrace intrusive thoughts popping in your mind or, you know, fl you know, your mind getting kind of a racing thoughts and stuff like that, the more and more you're willing to embrace and accept that experience and let it, let it run its course until it stops, the less you experience it. it it's a, it's a very weird effect and it's very paradoxical. That's why I always say everything with OCD and anxiety recovery is extremely paradoxical in my opinion. Right. And the power of acceptance is really this idea of, or the real steps to acceptance is first we have to let go. We have to let go of the things we're clinging to. And then we got to work with what is, right? It, you know, we, we work with what it is, meaning if you're having an emotional disturbance, right? You know, and you're having a lot of anxiety, instead of doing things to get rid of, like work with it, work with it from there, like start there. And, and trust that your body knows what to do. If you're having thoughts that you don't particularly like in your mind, okay, instead of doing everything you can and try to push them away, which you know doesn't work, learning to accept that, yes, I am having these thoughts. It doesn't mean that I accept the content of the thoughts. It doesn't mean that I accept that I like this experience. That's not what acceptance is. Acceptance is not about just embracing and enjoying, but it really is about acknowledging like this is what is. And there's no way it's supposed to be. There's no way it should be there. It just is what is. And my ability to work with what is whenever it's happening in this moment is going to, is going to dramatically eliminate my resistance to life. And my resistance is actually the cause of my suffering, right? Because when I'm trying to make life a different way than it is, that's a, that's a tough journey right? I've, I've done that. I don't recommend it. Like life is going to happen. Okay. And in many aspects, you're not in control of it. Okay. And, and once we can start to accept that, and what I mean by that is really embrace that idea. Like that's, that's just what it is. Then we begin to stop trying to resist and control and manipulate life so much. And we start to work with it. And even then we can start to get into higher places in our life. We're really trusting that life is not something that happens to me, but life happens for me. And I know that idea might be radical to, to some people listening right now. And, and that's okay. That's okay. Because that was for me, that sounded crazy, you know. Um, but when I look, even at the most challenging periods of my life, especially when I was really, really stuck in dealing with poor mental health, That, that served a purpose. That period of my life served a purpose and it brought me to where I am now, right? And, and 
you know, having navigated that, it was very tough, but it doesn't necessarily mean it was bad and that I shouldn't have experienced it or any of that. What it means is that it was just, that was part of, part of the journey right there. Right. And, and no, no part of your journey is permanent, right? No, every part of your journey is going to serve a certain purpose at that time. And in many ways, at the end of the journey, if you really trust that life happens for you, your even your darkest and hardest times can be used for good. You may not understand it when you're going through it, but you know me going through that experience has has given me the opportunity to have a higher mission now for myself in life, where I get to work with other people and and help other people and guide them. And that's oh my gosh, like it's it's amazing. It's a, it's a beautiful thing that I get to experience that, and I'm so grateful for it. But I could never do that if I didn't go through what I went through because I, I wouldn't have the knowledge base and the experience to actually offer guidance. And so even if you're in a dark time right now, right, because I don't know where you are as you're listening to this. When you are, when you're really embracing the idea of acceptance, it's not about you have to pretend that you enjoy your experience, but you can stop fighting with it and to say, Hey, I'm going to embrace this and trust that it will, I'll understand this later. I'll look back on this and understand this later. And for many of us, we can look back at challenging periods of our life, even like poor relationships we're in or whatever. And, and there's always something to be gained from that. Even if it's what not to do, right? or who not to be with, right? Like that, that's still like something we gain. We get a lesson from it. And, and, and each step brings us to a higher level within ourselves and a higher level of consciousness. And, and if anyway, if any, if many things, OCD and anxiety, one of the things that really enables you to do is to force yourself to go into a higher level of consciousness. And that, that is such a powerful thing. And I think it's it's a great gift. And most people would never think to go into that because if they're if they're comfortable where they are, right? And they and they just like doing what they're doing, and and there's no reason to evolve yourself. Evolving usually comes through necessity, right? And and stepping into higher consciousness and a higher level of yourself oftentimes needs to be a you know, a very challenging episode in order to, to make you do that. That's why our biggest growth often comes through, um, you know, oftentimes very painful experiences. And with OCD and anxiety, it actually can be a thing that can propel you into newer, higher, newer levels of yourself, higher levels of yourself. That's what I was trying to say. Um, and so if you don't, if you don't fully resonate with what I'm saying right now, it's okay. But I, I, I want you to know that like, that that's what the journey really is see because what's so interesting is is that and, and what i've learned is, is that at one level of consciousness something that you experience can be perceived as suffering but at another level of consciousness it can be an amazing gift and i think that was said by alan watts i'm paraphrasing there right but what what i've learned about ocd and anxiety is that it, it serves a purpose to to bring you to a higher level of consciousness if you allow it and the first step of that is really accepting the fact that you're experiencing it and then allowing yourself to let go of the things that are, that you're clinging to, to help you navigate that, that experience. Um, so just wanted to share that today on this episode. And so, um, you know, I, I hope that's helpful and, and really just understanding the power of acceptance and what can, what that can do for your, your journey to recovery. And, and it kind of how it ties in it, it obviously doing ERP and using the AAA response is going to be paramount to your success because you've got to break out of that loop, but it, acceptance, I mean, you really got to accept what you're experiencing and, and what that means. Right. And, and, and that starts with the idea of not letting go and not clinging and working with what is. And once you do that, that's where the journey really begins. And so, um, you know, this week, I just encourage you guys, uh, you know, if you're, if you're struggling, like not to necessarily enjoy that. I'm, I'm not saying to enjoy struggle. I don't, I don't believe in that. Right. It's like struggling is it's painful. Right. But, but to honor that part, right. Um, you know, so to honor that part of your journey and, and embrace it for what it is, because it's, um, 
you know, it serves its purpose and it serves its step. And, and so, um, you know, and, and as you navigate and, and again, whatever you're dealing with will not be permanent, right? Except that's one of the things about acceptance is, is that everything's always changing. That's why acceptance is important. So whatever you're experiencing will not be permanent and you will go into different phases and your ability to work with that movement is, is really going to be, um, a big part of your suffering or lack of suffering in life. Because if you can work with what is, you're not going to be resisting what is. So, um, so hopefully that makes sense. And I, and I hope you take that and, and take it with you on your journey. And I hope it helps for those of you that are looking for, for more guidance and help. Um, again, we have some resources over at restored minds for you. Um, what, you know, a free guide that talks about the triple A response and how you can use it in your life as well as our programs. You know, we have our, our live Q and A's that we run with our community and our taking back control program, as well as our, our group and individual, um, coachings. And, and again, we are able to work with people all over the world. So if that's something that you're interested in looking at, please just click the little link down below. You'll be taken over to our, um, our page and uh, you can learn more and, and start get started on your journey. Also, please help us out and show your support by liking and subscribing and even leaving a review on uh, iTunes or Google Podcast for us just so um, we can start to get these messages out to, to more and more people. So thank you all. Um, I wish you a great day and a great week. And um, next week, we're moving into Thanksgiving here in the States. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about gratitude and just um, the power of that as well. So Thank you all for, for hanging out and uh, appreciate everyone. And uh, I wish you guys a great week. Take care. Thank you so much for watching that video. And so if you're struggling with OCD and anxiety, I just wanted to let you know that we have a free training for you um, over at Restored Minds where you can start learning how to use our AAA response to really break out of that loop and ultimately take back control of your life. And all you need to do to get access is just click the little link below and you'll be taken to a page where you can register today. Thank you so much.